It will be a day of music, family and community outreach. The Park Ridge Summer Festival and the Joe Doolin Community Day is returning to Ypsilanti this Saturday and here to tell us all about the fun and the important information that will be available is Washtenaw County Commissioner Ricky Jefferson. Thank you for being here with us, Ricky. Thank you for having me. Good morning. First off, just tell me about these two events. Well, they're in the community that I grew up in. In 2011, we had two different events. There was a Park Ridge Summer Fest, and then there was a Joe Doolin Day. Uh, we met at the Park Park Ridge Park to give people access to an organized summer event so they could have fun in that community. And Joe Doolin Day was out in the, the downtown area uh, to provide access to nonprofits, uh, community organizations, and social service agencies so that they could have uh, the families have access to those. Uh, so that began that year, but then the next year, though, Joe Doolin decided that it would be a great idea to combine both together. And so we've been together in Park Ridge Park in Ypsilanti uh, since 2012 to provide information for families and the resources. And for those who may not know, who is Joe Doolin? Joe Doolin was a great man. He passed away in 2014. He was an African-American father, husband. Uh, he was an educator. He was the founding principal of Ann Arbor's Roberto Clemente uh, Student Development Center, where he really cared about improving the lives of the students. He was a true leader, an activist, a, like I said, a visionary. In 1995, he and his wife Yvonne created the National African American Parent Involvement Day, known as NAPIT, which is across the country now, to encourage black men, black women to be involved in their uh, education of their students and children. And how does this event carry on his legacy then? Well, his legacy is carried on by this event because we believe, as Mr. Doolin did, that we can improve people's lives by providing access to resources and community services so that they can we bring those agencies to the community. And there are going to be some health resources available for people to get vaccinated, correct? Yeah, that's one part of it. The health resources that we have are COVID-19 uh, vaccinations. We have free home testing kits that will be given away to anyone who needs it. We have Packard Health that's going to be providing screening such as for high blood pressure and for uh, blood sugar checks. We have a prosecuting attorney who's gonna be there to provide free assistance for expungement. Local school districts will be there to uh, provide information on enrollment. We have bike repairs, with stuff for returning citizens, persons with disabilities and voters and much more. Mm -hmm. A lot of going on, so we got some health care going on, some help with expungement and the records process there. Um, how can people get involved? You can get involved by joining us on uh, August 28th. We begin at 11 a.m. We end at 6 p.m. Uh, the resource tents will be open from 12 p.m. until 2.30 p.m. Uh, that is the place where we are. Is Park Ridge Park at 791 Harriet Street in Ypsilanti. Thank you so much for being here with us. Washtenaw County Commissioner Rick Jefferson, we enjoyed having you here on the show. Thank you for having me.